day in the life of living in Charleston. I thought one of these vlog videos could be fun to do to kind of switch it up so it'll be less about real estate and kind of a glimpse into our life and what we like doing on a Saturday living in Charleston. So this is my husband Trevor. Okay. And we'll be taking you along on our Saturday. Now let's start from the beginning. First things first is coffee because I'm not a morning person but I'm trying to become one. Do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the beach? Oh my goodness. Hello. Beach is one of our favorite words in this household if you can't tell. Everyone's excited. So we got out of the house a little later than I wanted. We left at 6.40. It'll take about 25 minutes to get to Folly Beach. And sunrise is at 7.04, says my phone. So hopefully we'll still get there right about 7 and see the sunrise. The drive to Folly this morning was absolutely beautiful, and we got to see the sunrise on the marsh. Apparently there's a hurricane way off in the Atlantic, so the waves are really good. Normally we go to the county park side of Folly, but because of the waves, we decided to go to the washout where all the good surfing is. All right, we made it to Folly. Pro tip, if you're going to the beach, drop a pin where your car is located. Our original plan was to run two or three miles on the beach, but that ended up being too much to deal with, with both dogs carrying all of our stuff and the beach not having much sand to run on anyway. We had a great time nonetheless, walking on the sand, our dog jumping in the waves, and watching the surfers. Yeah. This is Tig, he's our retired greyhound, he's nine years old. He's our sweet beach boy, he loves going on walks on the beach. And then we have Morse, like Morse code. He's our 11 month old Belgian Malinois, so he is quite a different energy level. The water feels so nice. I looked it up, it's 85 degrees. Ready for breakfast? Very ready for breakfast. I'm really hungry. I'll see it. There's like no beach anymore. Bye for now, Folly. We definitely had fun. Morse here drank too much salt water and then had explosive diarrhea. So instead of eating at Lost Dog Cafe, we took it to go. We got two breakfast burritos and we're gonna eat it at the park. To clarify, this happened on the way from the beach to the car, but we just wanted to make sure it didn't happen at the restaurant. Breakfast burrito. Thank you. How was yours? Nine out of 10. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're leaving Folly, and you can tell it's starting to get busier because more and more people are coming onto the island. That's the advantage of coming super early is like you'll find parking, Calm. It's beat like, all the traffic. Yeah, beat all the traffic. Next, we're stopping at Kayam's Garden and Accents. It's my favorite plant store in all of Charleston. Um, I am definitely a plant nerd. I've had over a hundred plants at one point. I might still. I haven't counted in a while. So this is Hyams. They have it decorated for fall already. They have beautiful outdoor flowers, a vegetable garden, outdoor trees, but my favorite is always going straight to the tropical plant greenhouse. Honestly, I like coming here just to look, but today I was looking for an orchid because I just finished a book called The Orchid Thief that Trevor had gotten me, and I'm looking for an air plant. Hyams has pretty much anything you could want. They have so many options of tropical plants, along with pots, succulents, outdoor plants, and more. I didn't find an orchid that I loved, but Trevor showed me where he gets me flowers because they have orchids sometimes. So we went to Keepsakes Florist, but they ended up not having a big selection either. So it's probably just not the right season to buy an orchid. It's around 10 a.m. now and we're heading back home to West Ashley. We're gonna get ready for the Charleston Farmer's Market, but first I have to take care of all my animals. I have 10 backyard chickens. See if there are any eggs. Watching him eat is the cutest thing ever. All right, two hours later, we're on the road again. I don't even know where two hours went, but we kind of just chilled at the house. Some people took naps. <laughs> I got ready. Um, and now we're gonna go to the Charleston Farmer's Market. The only disadvantage to the beach is now my car is full of sand everywhere. So it is September 16th and the weather is perfect today. It's like 
upper 70s, lower 80s. It's finally cooled off a little bit. And we're here. It's the perfect day for a walk downtown. We walked from our parking garage to Marion Square, which is where the Charleston Farmer's Market is held. We also found a cute clothing shop to stop in. And then we're at King Street. The Charleston Farmer's Market is every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m with the regular season being from April to November and a holiday market on Saturdays and Sundays in December. I was worried since we were getting there around 1 p.m. that they would be wrapping up, but there are still plenty of vendors there and people walking around. There are all kinds of things here, from fresh produce to local artists and even live music. a mango lemonade and a raspberry lemonade and they're so good. The mango is my favorite. We just enjoyed some of the scenery after that because it was such a beautiful day out. And then we went for another walk along King Street. We stopped at Mitchell Hill, which is a home decor store that has amazing authentic rugs. Then we went to one of our favorite lunch spots in all of Charleston. It's Cafecito, the little Cuban cafe. It's a super cute spot and it just opened this year, so it's pretty new. They have amazing coffee drinks, food, and pastries. And then this is the best flan in Charleston. It's it's Cuban flan. It's so good. And Cavus and the Medea Noche is my favorite thing. And that's a sweet Cuban bun instead of just a regular Cuban bun. I always get the Arsenio's avocado sandwich, Trevor gets the Medea Noche, and we always have to share a flan because it's so good. After eating, we went back to King Street again and stopped at the record stop. Then we decided to walk to Ritual, which is a newer rooftop bar in Charleston. We just got to Ritual, so we're going to the rooftop. Sorry for my fast recording, but we really like the vibes of this place. We had only ever seen it in the evening once, so it was fun to see it in the daytime. However, it was pretty hot outside and the only available seating was right in the sun, so we didn't stay very long. After all that walking, we decided to go home and rest, and I had some work things to tend to. If you haven't been to downtown Charleston in a while, you'd be amazed at the number of luxury apartments that have gone in. It's crazy how many have been built in the last few years alone. We're back at it. We had a little regroup at the house, played ball, did some work, played piano, and now we're gonna go to Farafi Beer Brewing. It's actually not in what's known as the Brewery District, which is just north of Charleston, but this one's really good and it's closer to us, which we like. Farafi Beer, it's known for its good beer, obviously, but also its pizzas and event nights. They host a lot of trivia and fun themed nights. We weren't that hungry yet, so we played Jenga while we waited for some friends to get here. My favorite beer of theirs is the Strawberry Blonde, but if you're not into drinking, they also have non-alcoholic beer options, which is pretty cool. We ended up just hanging out here the rest of the night, had a couple friends join us, got some food, and then just headed home. We're back home. I'm super tired. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on our day in Charleston. It was a fun day. Um, I feel like we got a lot done. I'm, I definitely think we could have fit more in if we planned it out, but I don't think everybody's like planning out an itinerary for their Saturday. So I, I feel like it was a pretty accurate day in yeah. the life. We just kind of like went with the flow and kind of what we wanted to do. I feel like we honestly spiced it up a little more than usual. Yeah. Normally we do like one of the things that yeah. we did on a Saturday. Like we would go to a brewery. Or go to the beach. Or go to the beach or go downtown. And then the rest right. of the day would be spent like taking care of the house, working on projects. We just wanted to show you some of the options of what you could do. Cause you could do a ton of other things too. Thank you for spending your most valuable resource with us, which is your time. And I hope you had a good time watching.